<laughs> Issa, you met Ingrid Visser last night, Mariah. What yes. was it like? Um, it was kind of like a dream of mine that has come true. It's like, you know, it's like meeting Brad Pitt or, <laughs> or your favorite celebrity. <laughs> it was amazing. I, I love listening to her accent when she talks about whales. As Dr. Lurie said, I'm a biology student at the University of Missouri St. Louis. I just want to start out by saying thank you to all the organizers of SuperPod for allowing me time to speak here and thank you to all the audience for being here. And today I just want to talk to you guys about how I became involved with the issue of marine mammal captivity and how easy it was and how other people my age can use the same thing. So of course I went to SeaWorld when I was about eight years old and ever since then I've just been fascinated with marine mammals and I knew that my life was going to involve them in some way. And you know, I was saying, well, when I grow up, I'm gonna work at SeaWorld. And that quickly changed when I saw a blackfish a couple years ago. My dream changed from, I want to work with them in captivity to I want to get them out of captivity. I saw the film and immediately thought to myself, what can I do to help with this? How can I do it? Who can I tell? Because I feel that I need to contribute in some way to this issue. So shortly after I saw the film and became more and more interested in the subject, I had the opportunity to do a persuasive speech at my school on a topic of my choice. And my number one choice was boycotting SeaWorld and why everyone should boycott SeaWorld and what really goes on there. And I thought to myself, if everyone that was featured in the film feels the same way as I do, why don't I record my speech and send it to them? And I went up in front of my classroom, I had my little Bluetooth remote to my iPhone I had set up on a very mini tripod at my desk and it turns out my phone was on camera mode instead of video mode. So um, my speech teacher so kindly kept his next class outside the classroom so I could redo my speech and actually video record it. So um, I, I was actually recording in an empty classroom. <laughs> so, um, so I finally got my speech recorded. I put it on YouTube and I sent the link to everyone I could think of. I sent it to Dr. Jeff. I sent it to Dr. Ingrid in New Zealand. Um, everyone I could think of. And to be completely honest, I was not expecting any sort of reply or response in any way. Um, everyone has thousands of followers. The film has become so popular. They're basically like celebrities, at least to me. And I was thinking, People tweet them every single day. Why would they respond to me, let alone watch my 11 minute speech on work that was from them? I actually learned that a lot of my slides I used, Dr. Jeff actually created, which <laughs> I didn't know at the time. But um, <laughs> open source. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, thankfully, I was wrong, and they all gave me an amazing positive response on Twitter and said that I did a great job and that I should keep up doing what I'm doing and just spreading awareness. So a couple months after that, my grandma, aunt, and I went on a family vacation to Seattle. And this vacation was planned months and months before I got interested in the subject. And <clears throat> we uh, came here for a day and went whale watching on the Western Prince. And this was last summer, which is the first time I saw a wild killer whale. And we had I believe it was Double Stuff who did a complete full body breach out of the water and I was just absolutely amazed. And my grandmother said, well, if this, we're this close to Canada, why don't we go to Vancouver for a couple of days? So I woke up in Vancouver and I got on Twitter, you know, first thing you do every morning is get on Twitter. <laughs> and I saw that um, Dr. Jeff, Carol Ray, and Sam Berg were also in Vancouver and I had um, very little contact with them since I had sent them my speech. And so 
um, I thought to myself, how crazy would it be if I could meet them in person? We happen to be in another country at the same exact time. And again, I thought, there's no way they're going to see my tweet. They're, you know, they're probably busy and they don't want, you know, some fangirl from the Midwest to <laughs> interrupt, you know, their vacation. And then, you know, but if you don't ask, the answer is always no. So I asked uh, Dr. Jeff if I could meet them and he said, sure, here's the restaurant we're at, here's the time we're going to be there, are you old enough to drink, let's know, come on. <laughs> And luckily in Canada, I am. So, <laughs> so um, I was able to have dinner with them, and oh my goodness, I was an absolute nervous wreck. I couldn't stop smiling the whole time. I was. Uh, my aunt came with me, and I kept you know looking at her like, save me, please. Um, so, but um, it was uh, it was a great time, and that is what I learned about Superpod for the first time, and how the theme for this year was going to be the future, and they invited me to come, and. Um, how it's going to be how the future generation can help end captivity. So in the meantime, I continue to stay active with them on social media, sharing updated news, blackfish effect stories, and tweeting and posting and retweeting and sharing anything I could find to spread information and awareness. Then this past April, again over Twitter, um, I saw that blackfish was being made into a musical in Chicago. I mean, Again, in the Midwest, Blackfish <laughs> Musical. Um, and that's only a five hour drive for me. So I reached out over Twitter and asked if anyone would like to join me. And Dr. Jeff and Michelle Dun Duncan were able to spend the weekend with me in Chicago where we saw the musical and became good friends. And the musical was asked, it was a satirical musical and it was hilarious. I encourage everyone to look up clips on YouTube. It was amazing. Everyone that worked on the musical did a great job. And now here I am, I, like I said, I went from recording myself in an empty classroom to um, being friends with people that I saw and still do see as celebrities, to traveling all over the country to help end training animal captivity simply because of Twitter. So I wanted to uh, share this story with you, not only to prove to, but also to inspire um, other people my age that the easiest and one of the most effective things that you can do to help end captivity is to spread your education and to spread your awareness. You don't have to be a scientist. You don't have to be a researcher. You simply spreading awareness and education through the biggest communication outlet for our generation is through social media and your voice and your message will be seen and heard by others. It only takes one post or one tweet or one photo to change someone's mind about captivity. And you may even meet new people and travel to new places just like I did. I have lost count on how many people have either messaged me or came to me in person and said, because of what you posted or shared, I decided to not go to SeaWorld. I decided to not buy a ticket. And all it takes is one person at a time to start a movement. And the more people that are told about what captivity really is, the more effective the anti-captivity movement will be. And it's up to our generation because we are the pioneers in social media, which is the, like I said, the biggest communication outlet and the fastest that we have today. We will see the end of the inhumane, outdated practice of captivity in our lifetime, and all it takes is one, one, just one tweet to sit to, for someone to say, I'm not going to go swim with the dolphins, I'm not going to buy a ticket. So no matter who you are or where you are or what your career is, we literally have the power at our fingertips, right on our phones, right on our laptops to help end the ring mammal entertainment industry and retire them to seaside sanctuaries where they should be. And all it takes is one post to open someone's eyes. So thank you so much everyone for your time. I hope my experience has inspired you to put your uh, voice out there and get involved and be heard. And I hope everyone has an amazing rest of the week here at Superpod. Thank you.